Hey guys, Killer K here. Welcome back to another episode of Kem's Killer Sources. Today we are at the Sydney Chili, Fe Sydney Chili Festival in Parramatta. Let me flip this around, show you some of the vendors and we'll get this video going. At the Sydney Chili Festival in Parramatta. <laughs> Let's go check these chili vendors out and we'll get this video going. <laughs> this hot sauce. Look at a nice range here guys. Starting from barbecue sauces, pie sauces, brown sauces. They have a nice range of sauces here. So. You might have to come try some of these sauces later. As you guys may know, I won the chili eating competition here at Parramatta. And these are the guys from Kentley's Hot Sauce. Big Tales. fan of Cam, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Come back either, I'll give you a few oh, bottles. We'll yeah. do, we'll do. Thank you very much. So this is your range. And they're, they're a lot of trophies, guys. So they've won a, f a few trophies. The Hot Sweet Chili Sauce from the Mr. Chili Awards. Yeah. Some nice awards here, guys. And this is very neat. An Aussie pie sauce. How cool is that? Hey, buddy. So these guys do hot sauce. Say hey to YouTube guys. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> hey, so these guys are old burns and they have some nice sauces here too. Again, I'll have to come back and try those later. So I'll leave all the links to these guys in the description below. Oh, bones! Hello! Hello guys. So were you the king of the yeah, chili? Yeah, well, I'm not, I, I don't call myself a king, but... Oh. Uh, oh, congratulations. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so do you eat the hallucinator or? Yeah, I had the hallucinator and all that fun stuff. How was it? How does it feel? Yeah. Are you hallucinating now? No, not really. <laughs> I'm a seasoned chili head, so I eat chili oh a lot. Oh my god, you're such a head. <laughs> chili, chili strong eater, huh? Yeah, that's right. Fantastic. How yeah. many years have you done it? About six years now. You must have a stomach that's like me. Sometimes, every now and again. Thanks to the guys over at Bondi Heat. Hi, Bondi Heat chili infused extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. There you Unique go. and tasty. You heard it from the boss himself. Try out Carolina Reaper, you just might ignite. There you go. And these guys do the cold pressed chili oil, which I've never seen before in a festival before. So. Uh, if Hunter's not there, Gavin. But if Gavin is leaving too, then. And this is the duo that run this company. Only. He is going for a very short time to um, Germany for a trade show. Oh, nice. Germany, wow. Look at that close up. Yeah, right? Look at that close up. Beautiful. So, this is the Carolina Reaper, guys. I've already tried this one, and this one is sensational. This is my favorite out of the three they do. They do a Peri Peri Carolina Reaper and a Chipotle one. And they've got some dried Carolina Reapers for those that are brave enough to take it. Oh, one. Yeah, would you like one? Oh, mm. thanks. And that's the guys from. Now we have one of my good friends, Martin, from the Chili Effect, selling these amazing products as always. How you doing, Mr. Mark? Not bad, Cam. How are you? I am very good, my friend. I heard you on the mic. Did you have fun eating chilies? Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Cool. Did you win? I, uh, I think I might have. I think I may have. Oh, I don't know. Well. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. No worries. And again, guys, Chili Effect, check them out. Again, I'll have all the links to the websites of. Oh, they've got the. You gonna try that one? You tried it? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try it on the way back. I want to do my walkthrough before I don't get a chance to do it. 
And then the big band jerky, this is awesome. Fire and there's a the new mango having the way. And that's the guy from the chili effect. Thanks again, Mark. You're See legend. you, Cam. Let's do like salt and spice rubs. They also do some chili jerkies. So everything from mild. Feels <laughs> so we have some I was at the last store and I was pulling the sticks out of the. Uh, I've had people. I apologise for the noise, guys. It is quite like noisy in here. But these guys again have some chili rubs. Okay, you can start sweet here and spices. And then we get hot right here. And then we have some of the chili sauces. Which again, he said the hops were right here. That's a sweeter barbecue sauce. That's a, really good on ribs and chicken. Yeah, tasty, sweet. Yeah, that one is good. Uh, and you start getting some as you go this way. Honey does not crystallize. Pure honey that has a bird's eye change, will crystallize. What? So if you want to get uh, one of these, the they'll do chili. 30 bucks, so it's 15 a kilo instead of chili I just can't take you back And I believe this is just normal honey. Yeah, same thing. They just, just keep that out of the sun. Uh, and if it's like a these guys have won awards at the Mr. Chuck Awards. First person, second place for their sample. So this is one first place at the Mr. Chili Awards. And this one is one number two. Now this one is the one I would say to you, if you cook, House them out. If you cook good, I would use this as a base, right? So you know when you cook in a wok or a saucepan, you and the ladies the working away. Seat and fire, chili booth, the ones that put on the... the this is the rock And these guys, so they're amazing chili chocolates. They were the sponsors of the chili eating competition. And we have the I think that was called the Seat and Fire Chili Chocolate Challenge, brother. That you won. I did indeed. I'm His very prize. Happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> So these guys, if you haven't tried their chocolate, let's do that. Definitely check them out. Again, links <laughs> of all the chili vendors here. They did awesome, right? Good on you. Yeah, I'm glad. Hey, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. Good for you. <laughs> he still looks like he's suffering over there. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> and these chili logs, this is one of the things we had in the competition. This was Thanks, awesome. Uh, a lot of and Mudjibira, curry blends and spices. And now, for all you guys that know, so these guys do some There's amazing chili products. There's a recipe on the back of every bottle. Chili it's basically frying up some garlic and spice. And, the, and there's Vaughn himself. Hey, how are you? Good, Vaughn, how are you? Good, mate. How's good. your day been? It's been pretty good. And these are the guys at Cobra Chili. Again, these guys have a massive range of sauces, and I've tried them myself. These guys are absolutely amazing. You have no idea about the chili. <laughs> the amount of chili products we have here in Sydney, Australia, even just Australia, we have some of the best hot sauces in the world. And I sit by that. But these guys have some amazing tasting sauces. Burger sauces, that's amazing. 
barbecue sauces, habaneros, wing sauces, you name it, they've got it. And these are the guys at Cobra. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Range of I know you. I know you. He, he knows me. He knows me. And it did. It hurt. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. And I appreciated for what it was. <laughs> so he tried some of Be All Natural's Three Stings Ridiculously Hot Honey. And he was paying for it a little bit. But here's some of Crowley's gear. It's like a mince's. And again, <laughs> like I said, Australia has some of the best hot sauces in the world, and I'll stick by that. <laughs> it go really good. Okay, <laughs> And what else better are you going to do on your Sunday than be here at the Sydney Chili Festival in Parramatta? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hot, isn't it? Oh man, I haven't ever drank so much of your life. <laughs> You're just making my editing process a lot harder for YouTube now. Yeah, you just got to bleep stuff out. Yeah. And this is the hallucinator. We had this in the chili competition and I aced it. Show me that hallucinator, Jace. Rightio, bud. This is how good it is. It's so shelf stable. Thick, pasty, puree. There's enough on that for a dish for 20 people. Or one big can. Yeah, one big can. Like me. <laughs> And then we have the new Kabang sticks. These are awesome. And Grandy's homegrown, these guys are. From like beetroot and cucumber chutneys, sweet mustard pickles, tomato chutneys, and some chili sauces here. And these are Brandy's homegrown. Our next vendor we have is Danger Mage Chili. There you guys, they've got some dried chilies here too. Some sauces here. Yeah, there's some cucumber if you want to cool yeah. down. Yeah, they're 10 bucks a pop. You can get three for 25. We also got some kangaroo jerky here. Some pickled ginger lime jalapenos, look pretty tasty, good with relishes, curries, sandwiches. And that's a guy from Danger Meats. Oh, there you are. And then we have Benny himself. Hi. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Mr. Cameron. We're on YouTube at the moment. Hello. There we go. I don't know about if they do any chili. Hello, Cam. Hey, guys, how are you going? Good myself. <laughs> I am very well, thanks. Because you have possibly won. <laughs> I'm, I'm great, I'm great. I really like that one. And the Harvest Chutney Chili is beautiful. So more like a French style with port and ginger. No, you're right. This one just won bronze medal at Royal Hobart. The, the vampire. So, not hot, but medium. And a gold medal for my chili garlic so caramelized balsamic. Yes, I am sure many not. <laughs> I don't uh, make I'll give it a go. Now we're heading over to one of Killer K sponsors and that's Paul from Wiltshire. Working hard, or well, hardly working. working. <laughs> and again guys, here we go. Close up. Look at that fire. What'd you win? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't actually looked. <laughs> Try to cool find something. <laughs> Congratulations, Cam. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, guys. Delicious. Nago, this is one of my favourite sources of the area. 
And here we go, hot ones, Trinidad Scorpion. If you haven't seen the video of me on Facebook doing that, go check it out. I get the hiccups like crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. God slam. Would you like to try a little bit of the build time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And regret. Yet to try the regret. I'll have to try it later. Hey, when did you draw? Did you? I think so. It's done whole and then, yeah. Yeah, that's the best part of doing it here. Because I do my own drink here at home. Right. And I'm going to find it. If you do it whole. Um, ice cream. And then we have Marcel at the chili factory. Good afternoon. Hello, Mr. Marcel. How are you? I'm hot, 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 as usual. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. How are you today? No, I'm a busy man. <laughs> this is their range of sauces. This is one of my favorites. This one here. And this is the signature blend, the next level. And that's Michelle from the Chile. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we have Todd's Kitchen Cupboard. Small batch artesian products. So we've got some hot sauces and some sweet chili oil. Yeah. Jeff from Saraback. Lucky last. It's insane how just how it moves through those flavor profiles. And then when it hits a peak level of heat, it'll just hold there. Yep. Really good, really versatile sauce as well. Yeah. Working hard as always. Hey, Cameron. Oh, no, so, um, so this one uses a bizarrely pepper, and which is slightly less hot than the habanero. Some good in and the ratio, there's, there's more ingredients in this sauce, so that one's a little bit milder than the, than the habanero sauce. Um, but that one is my personal favourite, because habanero is And now nice. over here we have some rubs, I believe, and some salt. Just to, just to refresh the yeah. palate. Hell's Gate, the, the spice rubs. Pyramid salt. Why do you 